Okay, so I'm here to show you guys how to uh, turbocharge an MX-6 V6 uh, KLDE engine. Um, as far as I know, this is the first um, how-to video, step-by-step, -step, that anybody's ever done on this car. Everybody wants the turbo. I'm going to show you guys how, step-by-step. -step. Um, this first video is going to be how to install the intercooler. Um, each video is going to be in a separate step. So, like, you know, step one will be intercooler, step two, battery relocation. They're going to be separate videos, and then I'll do a compilation at the end um, so that you can look it up one by one. But if you're planning on turboing, make sure you watch every installment because you're going to need to do everything that I do to my car. Go ahead and pop the hood, and then your intercooler is going to go underneath these things. That's how you're going to attach it. Uh, so first step is to remove these. Okay, so I have went ahead and popped the intercooler up in here from the bottom, so you'll be able to see where it's going to sit. A lot of people on a bigger intercool will remove the air conditioning uh, uh, reservoir there, but I'm just my intercooler is small enough where I can do that. If you want to get a shot from the front, what it looks like through the grill, that's what you're going to look like. You can position it, and now we're going to work on fastening it. Okay, so next uh, we're going to need a location to mount the uh, brackets for it. Um, so I've got these holes here and over there on that side that are um, they're open spots, they have little holes, and I found these bolts in my, uh, in my garage that'll work fine and not in a bolt, it's gonna go on either side. I've decided to use this metal strapping instead of um, a bracket, just for temporarily until I can uh, make my own custom brackets. But uh, I actually had to drill out the hole a little bit with this, but I'm gonna double it up for extra strength. Mounted it through the top through those bolts. We couldn't use the original uh, locations because that's where the trim goes in. Um, so we use these ones um, by the hood latch. See the intercooler down there. Um, underneath to stop it from moving, I went ahead and drilled some holes, used some zip ties, attaching it there. But this way I'm, I had to trim my, uh, my little guard there to be able to fit through this. That pine cone's just to sort of push it stable, but that'll be replaced with a more permanent solution later. Um, so you're gonna go ahead and get your trim clips, and you're gonna put it back in there, and um, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the finished product. It's um, it's pretty straight. Um, I've adjusted it a little bit by using some zip ties and pulling the things tighter. Um, overall. This probably took around, I don't know, a half hour, an hour. A lot of it was finding the, uh, the right tools and zip ties and figuring out how to do things, but hopefully this helps you guys install an intercooler. Um, watch another video for some intercooler piping. Right now I'm going to drive around with this ricer inner fooler because I'm not turbo yet, but I'm working that way. So um, This is just video number one, so uh, watch the other ones and... Um, I hope you enjoy uh, turboing your car.